everybody, welcome back to Camping with Steve. I'm in the yard right now. Things have been really busy between work and being married and uh, friends and helping people move, etc, etc, etc. Life adds up on you when you're working a full-time job and trying to do YouTube. So I'm, I appreciate your patience if you're still sticking with me here, but uh, a few developments. One is... New tent. If you guys remember this one from all winter here, uh, this is the summertime version of it. Gazelle tents. Uh, I paid for it. It wasn't supplied by them. But uh, I found this. It's a gazebo. It's not really a tent tent for camping in. But I'm going to make it work. So we're going to set it up here. Just do a side by side comparison. And we're going to cook just a little bit of a dinner. Crazy neighbor. What's up? Well, you know, just setting up the tent, filming a thing for YouTube. Right on. Oh, you here to mow my lawn, are you? Yep, pretty much. <laughs> yep. Right on. You Thanks. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, of course I don't mind. Sure. Gotta keep talks of it. Gotta keep that trim figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah, it opens up just the same way as that one. Oh, sure, they pop out just like that other tent. Uh, oh, awesome! You just take this thing and pull it. Yep. Yeah. Holy cow! I know it's a big one. Boy, those engineers really got that figured out, didn't they? Oh, they did. Okay. I better get this one more out of the way. Ha! Perfect. Oh, hey, look at that. I can see through right through the tent wall. Hi, Steve. <laughs> hey, crazy neighbor. So, very similar in design. I think it's, yeah, it's bigger by a bit. But that's okay. It's not for backpack camping, not for really back roads, outdoors, true camping. This is just for luxury glamping, camping, whatever you call it. Anyway. Gonna do a little bit of a comparison, get them set up side by side, cook some dinner, and then it's time to hunker down. Howdy. I'm here in the screen tent version of the ice fishing shack. It's substantially bigger, uh, probably a couple of feet overall, taller in the middle, and super high quality screen fabric on the outside. Cost an arm and a leg, it was around $350, and it has panels that can go around the outside so I figured if I can use that ice fishing shack for winter camping as a tent I can surely use this for summer camping as a tent and uh, uh, just the room in here is amazing I'm gonna actually just step behind the camera I'll give a 360 of this whole place here and uh, just to give you an idea of what it looks like in terms of size wise I don't have a super wide angle lens but uh, I got a full patio set in here as well as, uh, you know, it's it's just a really big space to use as a tent for camping. And when I've got my wife, we can put these, uh, another cot beside it and an air mattress over top and, and still have room for everything else in here. So I'm just really ecstatic about this. And I'll take a little meander over to the ice fishing hut. Got it somewhat dismantled. Oh, I can figure out. I don't have this staked down. And this one, yeah, yeah. Trapped in my own tent. Unbelievable. Okay. This other guy, it, I tested it out even in the summertime. Uh, it didn't get too, too hot inside, but it's just set up in my yard right now so I can kind of show the comparison between the two. This guy was not too waterproof. I sprayed it with a coating and that helped. But when it really rains, you don't want to do that. This guy has the stove jack I installed, which helps me with the wood tent when I throw it in there. But I think 
even in the summertime this could work as a good cook shack and keep that a good distance away for bear's sake from the sleeping quarters which is uh, it sets up just as quickly the material on the screen is just phenomenal uh, this stuff is I, I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, it's a nylon screen, but it is super rigid and very fine mesh uh, to stop from no seams, etc, etc. And we've got our Velcro tabs for the side panels, which are on order. When I do set it up, I wouldn't rely on that. I'd have it tarped over top as well, just to be sure that uh, rainwater wouldn't get in through there. Anyway, I'm... Uh, I might sleep out here tonight in the backyard to test this guy out. And, in the meantime, I think it's time that, uh, I think it's time that I crack just a little bit of a beer and, uh, crazy neighbors out there. Uh, I'm gonna crack just a little bit of a beer and we're gonna be doing some, uh, bush pies and bush pizzas tonight in these little things. Uh, I've always seen these. Oh, it's crazy neighbor. Yeah, once the camera comes out, everybody comes out. So, uh, I gotta be doing this in here tonight, hunkering down out here. It's a work night, I'm in my backyard, but uh, uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for, sorry about the delay again guys, but uh, time to start cooking some food and uh, let's get the show on the go. Hey guys, yep. This is the half-built truck camper. Uh, it's still on the go. I was out last week to source parts for it for camper jacks and tie-downs. Got a good lead on some free stuff, but it's really old and rusted on there, so I'm gonna have to really take some time to get those off with a truck camper out in the wilderness. But uh, I had big plans for this. It was gonna be, I really wanted to do, you know, top of the line, everything, but I just wanna get it on the road now. Uh, I'm still gonna fiberglass this thing, paint it up, have it look pretty good. But uh, as far as, you know, state-of-the-art windows and doors and fridge and oven and all that, I just can't afford it right now. I've been so busy with uh, with work and trying to pay off my wedding from last year. So that's the goal here and it's going to happen. I'm gonna have a video up when I get out to pull the parts off. But uh, in the meantime, back out to the tents. Okay guys, in the tent here, this one's got a pretty good ceiling, roof, uh, looks good for water resistance, I'm not sure how it actually works in the real world yet, but dinner's coming up here, and that involves one of these guys. I've seen him a million times before, and I used to be an air cadet, which was something like Boy Scouts, and we, we did these things called bush pies, where you butter up some bread, put in pie filling, close them down, and put them on the fire, and that's what I'm doing tonight, except to start off with, I'm doing it as a dinner meal with pepperoni, pizza sauce, cheese, uh, yeah, and that's it. So I've got one of these little butterfly lightweight stoves. There's a fire ban on here right now, so might be a summer full of propane cooking. I don't know. Uh, it's what it looks like so far. It's been 30 degrees in May so far. <laughs> uh, it's going to get warmer. But far cry from what it was when I was winter camping. Anyhow, we'll start this up. I know it's really loud, but... Uh... I'll turn it down as quiet as I can, as I can get it and still um, be able to cook on it. I hope you can hear all right there. And these, just like I said, butter a couple of slices of bread and use real butter don't use margarine it tastes so much better Just a little bit of pizza sauce. I got these cheese slices that come perfect size for this application. On a 
it goes. Some pepperonis. Maybe just a little bit more sauce for the top. And this thing compresses these guys, which is just ordinary bread looking thing right now. It even cuts off the crusts for you. There you go, if you don't like the crusts. Oh, that's much less loud. I'm sure you appreciate that at home. So, I got this cooking. Then step two is beer. Hey guys, I've got this just finished off now. Essentially a grilled cheese sandwich slash pizza with the crusts cut off. Still very hot, but this is the perfect type of thing. Um, it's not as burned as it looks. It's actually a really good type of thing with uh, all these good pizza fillings inside of it. So that's what we're having tonight. And then we're gonna be doing the bush pies a little later. So I am going to, well, I'm gonna eat a fair number of these and feed crazy neighbor who's plucking away on the guitar as we speak and uh, catch up with you in a bit. Thanks for tuning in again, um, even though I'm just in the backyard, but we got a really neat tent to show you and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some more videos up here. It's just it's so brutal working a full-time job and then trying to do this afterwards, so. I'm gonna work with them, I'm gonna try and convince my boss to start giving me Mondays off, and then I can have a day devoted to putting up a video at least. But, in the meantime, we'll see you in a bit. And I'll show you how I'm hunkering down for the night here. Hey guys, Camping Steve here and Crazy Neighbor. Uh, gonna do dessert here in a second. I just realized when I was looking at the, uh, the footage of what we just filmed, this isn't ketchup I was putting on that pizza. This is actually pizza sauce in a squeeze bottle. Um, it looks exactly like ketchup, but you guys know I have higher standards than putting ketchup on a pizza for sauce. So that's what we got. Anyway, we're gonna do Another one of these uh, bush pie thingies. And this one is uh, pie filling, this uh, apple pie filling. And uh, dessert's on the way. Then it's time for, for this guy to hunker down because work comes in the morning. Push pie, same as the other thing, uh, burned on one side, uh, good on the other, but this is a nice, nice bush dessert, easy to make, crusts come right off, that's what we got.
McDonald's doesn't know what they're doing when it comes to apple pie, Steve. Yeah, campfire apple pie, and this is the way to do it. Right on the open campfire, delicious. Oh yeah. That was so delicious. Thanks guys for tuning in and watching me test this new guy out in the backyard. But she is time to hunker down for the night and you know there's no way I'm going in that house uh, it's scorching hot here it's been 30 degrees Celsius which is I don't know what in Fahrenheit but hunkering down for the night out here so thank you again for tuning in and until next time you're camping with Steve Super cool out here.